Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Good, because you're in for a New Year's Eve treat tonight with book number seven of Mr. Men by Roger Hargreaves. And tonight's story is called Mr. Snow. Once upon a time. One night, two days before Christmas, it started to snow. All night it snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed. Millions and billions and trillions of big white soft snowflakes covered the whole wide world. When morning came, it was quite amazing to see just how much snow had fallen. All of the houses, all of the trees and all of the roads and all of the fields were covered. It was almost as if a huge white blanket had been gently laid over everything. Everywhere you looked was white. And then the sun came out, and so did the children. They were all dressed up and muffled up and wearing scarves and woolies and gloves and boots so that they wouldn't catch a cold. All of the children were so excited to see so, so much snow, which isn't surprising really, because there was more snow than they'd ever seen before. Some of them went on their sledges racing down the hills. Some of them, who didn't have a sledge, threw snowballs at each other. One little boy even made a snowball that was as big as himself. And some of the children made snowmen. Then it was Christmas Eve. The children all went home early so that they could go to bed early so that they could get up early to see what Father Christmas had brought for them. For that particular Christmas Eve, Father Christmas was in trouble. And the trouble was that it had snowed so much that Father Christmas was stuck, well and truly stuck. There was so much snow that his reindeer simply couldn't pull his sled piled high with all the presents that he had to deliver to the children. Oh dear, thought Father Christmas to himself. Oh dear, what can I do? He sat down on his sack of toys and thought and thought how he could manage to deliver all the presents to all the children before they woke up on Christmas morning. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear me, he said out loud and sighed. (sighs) Now, it just so happened that Father Christmas had got himself stuck just beside a snowman, which was one of the children had built. And that gave him an idea, a good idea, a very good idea, a very good idea indeed. How would you like to help me? He asked the snowman. But of course the snowman didn't answer because snowmen can't talk, can they? Of course I'll have to use some of my magic to bring him to life, thought Father Christmas to himself. So he took his white beard three times and muttered some Father Christmassy magic words into it. Suddenly, you might almost say magically, the snowman did come to life. Hello, Father Christmas, said the snowman, which was the snowman's name. Uh, You look a bit sort of stuck, if you ask me, which you aren't, but I'll see you so anyway, and if you ask me again, I'd say you need a sort of Helping hand, if you know what I mean, which you you probably do, because uh, that's why you probably brought me back to life. Certainly did. So, can I be of any assistance? Mr. Snow, as you might have gathered, was a rather talkative sort of snowman. Exactly, being Father Christmas. Let's get started. And start they did. Mr. Snow gave Father Christmas an enormous push and off they went. They divided the work between them. It was Mr. Snow's job to make sure that all of the right toys for all of the right boys and all the right toys for all the right girls were put into all the right sticks, sacks. <laughs> it was Father Christmas's job to make sure he took all of the right sacks down all the right chimneys 
and delivered all the right toys to all the right boys and all the right toys to all the right girls. Mr. Snow and Mr. Father Christmas made sure that Susan got her teddy bear. Mr. Snow and Father Christmas made sure that Peter got his train. Mr. Snow and Father Christmas made sure that John got his piggy bank. Mr. Snow and Father Christmas even made sure that little Jane got a squeaky pink elephant to play with in the bath. And then, all of a sudden, they discovered that between them, they'd finished. Oh, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for helping me deliver all the right toys to all the right boys, said Father Christmas, shaking Mr. Snow by the hand. Not forgetting all the right toys to all the right girls, replied this Mr. Snowman, shaking Father Christmas by the hand. And now, I'd better turn you back into a snowman. Again, said Father Christmas. Thank you again and goodbye. My pleasure, smiled Mr. Snow. And do you know what? From that Christmas to this Christmas, Father Christmas always chooses a snowman to help him. So the next time you build a snowman, you better make sure that you build him properly, because somebody you know might want that snowman to give him a hand. And you know who that would be, don't you? The end of Mr. Snow by Roger Hargreaves, here on the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and snowmen around the world. Good night.